Hey there everybody, it's Pastor Jason. Uh, we haven't done a weekly announcement uh, video in a few weeks, so I figured I'd put one out together real quick for you. A couple of things right off the bat. If you are able to help us, whether that's in the soundboard, the sound booth, or maybe some computer work in the sound booth, or you're willing to be an usher, or you're willing to help clean, or you're willing to help people check in, we still need a lot of help. We're calling out to you. It's time. We need you to come help. The Another thing we want to encourage you with is uh, one of the things we can do as a church is meet in small groups. Now, I know it. I know most of us, most of the small groups here, take the summer off, Jason, because people don't show up or people are gone. This is really not the summer for that. Let me encourage you meet even if it's just for dinner get fellowship with one another encourage one another pray for one another get together in your small groups because that's something we can do maybe the lord's been kicking around the idea in your head that maybe you should start one we've got a lot of places that need a small group around the lake and i would love to talk to you about the possibility of starting one as a matter of fact we will be putting out content uh that I'm going to help you with figuring out how to start a small group, what to consider first, some guidelines for you to kick around in your brain. And, you know, that you'll find those videos this week, one a day, and hopefully it'll be like 10 minutes or so. Small groups are going to be a way forward for Grace Church this year. We need everyone to be part of a small group. As a matter of fact, when you became a member here at Grace Church, you found out that that is the two pillars of Grace Church, that's one of them, is that everybody is in a small group, and we want you to be a part of one. Uh, a couple other announcements for you, just so you know. Some of the other things we can do at church is we're still allowed to meet. We're not on that watch list or anything like that. So we're still able to meet. So we're meeting at the 8, the 9, and the 1045. And we encourage you to come on out. Come and, en and enjoy some fellowship with one another. Now, we are doing some services outside, and we're not required to do that, but we're just kind of preparing ourselves just in case things get shut down again. That is going to be one way we can continue to meet on a Sunday morning is outside. And so we've been test driving that the past couple of weeks. So um, come on out, nine, uh, 8, 9, and 1045. Still not used to saying that 8 o'clock one. Also, we are working on our live streaming. If you've been watching our live stream and you're like, man, that's kind of green or, man, I really can't. Be... I'm working on it, people. I'm working on it. I'm trying my best. I'm working on it. And hopefully we can kind of get the kinks worked out. And I just, you know, thank you for your patience with that. That is the way going forward. We're not going to pre-record them anymore and then post them. We're, there's going to be a live stream of, stream of them, which you can then watch at any point afterwards. So for those of you who like to watch it at, you know, 8 o'clock when it's streamed, great. Or if you want to watch it at 2 in the afternoon later on, great. Um, but that's how we're going to be moving forward, is using our live streaming. So if you haven't, this is another announcement for you, if you haven't already, you definitely want to go and figure out YouTube. You Maybe you haven't figured it out. Maybe you just watch it for silly little cat clips and fun little videos. But you might want to consider figuring out how to use YouTube a little bit better. Subscribe. It's called subscribing. That's what you do to the Grace Churches channel and maybe my channel, Pastor Jason Ritz. And there you're going to get a bunch of content just all in one space for you. And it's just as simple as clicking the subscribe button and whenever we put out a new video, it'll be right there in your feed. Speaking of content, just so you know, again, go to our website. Our website is full of content for kids on Sunday mornings, for Sunday school, for services, for daily devotions with me. We're doing one chapter a day. Hope to see you there. We just started Acts today, Acts 1, with six new questions. We've been doing five questions normally. But now we've got a whole different set of questions we're going to try for the next week or two. And we do like scripture memory verses, things like that. 
There's plenty of stuff for you to uh, to be able to meditate on, pray about, and figure out how do you change your life because what the word of the Lord has to say. Uh, other ways we want you to be a blessing to your community is figure out who needs to be blessed around you. Who needs to be blessed and reach out to them. Help them to be more like Christ. Help them. if, if what, Maybe they've got a need. Let us know. We are, we are so thankful. The pastors and elder staff, uh, the, el the pastoral staff and the elders are so very thankful about your faithful giving. You've been giving faithfully over these months and now we're in a place we're really looking to richly bless the community in different ways we're trying to pray for us we're trying to figure out how to do that wisely maybe even that's helping you be a blessing to somebody else so if you know of a need let me know i will see what i can do okay another thing i want to encourage you with is um, you guys have been richly giving we appreciate that the pastors and elders really do appreciate your faithful giving over these past couple months if you have any questions about how to do that okay we th there's several different ways you can go about that you can drop it off here on a sunday morning still okay we that's still a typical thing you can uh, drop it off at the office during the week. Just make sure you call ahead. Make sure one of us is going to be here. You could mail it in. We have a locking mailbox now. No one's getting your check out of the out of the mail. Okay. There's only one or two people with the keys. No one's getting your check if you mail it. Or you can give online. Um, if you look at our website, we have a page dedicated to that. Look for online giving. It's a simple, very fast setup process to make your little uh, account, so to, so to speak. And once you do that once, you won't have to worry about doing that again. Or uh, have your bank do it. Online banking is a thing. You know, and maybe you just have it done that way. Okay? Man, there's just so much still going on, believe it or not. Stay healthy out there. Stay safe um, as cases in Lake County quickly are starting to grow. You know, wear a face mask, I know, bummer. Uh, wash your hands, I know, something we should have all been doing long before COVID. Uh, keep to a small group of people, try to reduce your, your risk of exposure by just being out and about for no real reason. With that, I think that's all I've got. Be blessed. Be a blessing. And I'll see you sometime soon.